We are now ready to apply boundary conditions to our model. Let's start by opening up Mechanical. First, let's take a look at what material we are using. Under Geometry, we can see our three pieces. If we click on any of them, we see that the material assigned is structural steel, as defined in engineering data. This is the material that we will be using, so we'll leave it that way. We are now ready to apply the boundary conditions. Let's start by defining our two loads. We right-click on Static Structural, Insert, and choose Line Pressure. After making sure that the Site Selection tool has been selected, we select one of the top lines that we created by slicing our beam and click Apply. So I'll zoom in a little and select our side. ANSYS does not let you choose both lines at once, so we will have to apply the loads on them separately. We now change Define By to Components. and enter negative 500 pound inch in the Y component. So why did we choose 500? Simply because it seemed appropriate. Ultimately, we'll be looking at the normalized actual stress, which will not depend on the actual value of P since the effect of P gets scaled out in the normalization. We now apply that same line pressure to our second line. Let's now assign fixed supports to the bottom edge at both ends of the beam. We can click on Supports, then select Fixed Support. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and select our two edges. Note that I use the control key to select both edges. We then click apply. So we now have our two pressure boundary conditions and our fixed supports. We can now save our project.